Avengers Super Mega Force, or Mega Force, whatever title you want to call it. Hey, boy. This one's a pretty bad one. And I don't know if it's up there with Turbo or a Maximum Overdrive. But either way, it's pretty bad. I mean, it was trying too hard to recapture the magic of the original Power Rangers. And, and well, the Rangers are pretty bland. Well, this group of Rangers, anyway. And that's a shame, too. That's a great premise and everything. I mean, there's a their mentor is, is an apprentice to Zordon. Now, wouldn't that be amazing? But sadly, hey, do you know what they did with this plot, plot line? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! They never explain how did this guy, uh, whose name I don't remember or care to remember, uh, uh, has been the protege of Zordon. Never explained. There's only one brief sentence and that's it. And a Red Ranger, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I see a lot of bad Red Rangers, but this one, whoo. Probably one of the worst by far, dudes. And, and the ending of the big battle between the in all the Rangers of the past and the main villains of the show all, all, all go at each other, a Lord of Rings style, style of a big epic battle, a war if you will, and the Wow, it was like, awesome and amazing, and it was fantastic, I mean, it certainly didn't make it for the show, but it was great. I mean, heck, some of the original actors from their past Power Rangers shows make an appearance, Tommy Oliver included. And, and this was meant to be the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers, and it could have been done a lot better. I, I mean... Clearly, they hadn't thought things out through enough. Uh, I do like the premise and the idea of overall, but overall, it just fell flat on its butt. So, it gets a rating of a 2 out of 10, and I just hope in the future uh, they can do another show with a premise of similar to this. But do it a lot better. And that's over today guys. See you all next time. Farewell friends. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Patreon, Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, FanFiction.net, Rattled and Casting Call Club.